Hello and welcome back to the introduction to computer programming course and I'm going to talk about function and this is the second part. Um, recall that function means that in our code on or in our algorithm we are going to create a block that performs a specific function. The purpose is that um, if something goes wrong or if you like to modify something in your code you can easily isolate one block of code and just repair that block instead of just um, instead of you know uh, going through all the codes that you have and see which lines that you must repair or modify now you can just easily repair or modify just that one single block okay so this week we're going to talk about um, different type of functions um, a little bit different with what we have talked about in the previous week. So let's start. In the previous week, we have seen the void function with no arguments. It is called void because the function does not return anything to the main algorithm. And it is called no arguments in um, this type of function because we don't send um, any information to the function itself. We just call the function, the function do something, and then it goes back to the main algorithm. So this is a void function with no arguments. The second type of function that we've seen last week is the void function with arguments. So here we are sending some information that the function will use in the process, and then the function ends. Again, this is called the void function, because um, this function x does not return anything to the main algorithm. Okay. Now suppose we need to identify the maximum or the most positive number among a set of numbers. So let's say we are given this list of integers and then we would like to find um, the most positive number among that list but then not only displaying saying that um, okay this is the maximum number we want the function to output the number such that later we can use this number for something else outside of the function or um, we can use this number in the main algorithm okay so this is quite different with before because now you see that the function must send something out from the function. If that is the case, then let's ask ourselves some questions. The first one is, do we need to send arguments to the function? The answer is obviously yes, because how are you going to find the maximum number among a list of numbers if you are not given the list of numbers in the first place, right? So uh, the answer is yes, because you need to send this list of number as the arguments for the function. And then do we expect any output outside of the function? In this case, yes. We expect that the function will sense out this value such that in the main algorithm or in outside of the function, we can use this number for something else. So the answer is yes. So yes, we need to send the arguments. Yes, we expect output outside of the function. So in the simplified function, um, here in the main algorithm, we are going to call the function and send the arguments. This is something that we've seen before. So we call the function, we pass the arguments, and then um, the function will do something with the arguments. Now the difference here is that the function will say it will return value to the main arguments, such that in the main arguments, we must prepare a place, a variable, or um, anything to store what is returned by the function. So here we call the function, we send the arguments, and then the function will return a value to the um, main algorithm. That's why here you notice here it says value equals call the function x and send arguments. 
So whatever is returned by the function, we will store it as the value in the main algorithm. And uh, if we are using that value in the main algorithm, it is possible. For example, here we have we have other process that uses the value. Okay. So the difference here is um, this function is called the value returning function because the function returns something to the main algorithm. Okay. And uh, what I would like to say here is that um, it does not have to be just a single value. You can return more than one values. For example, one function return three values. That's okay. But uh, be prepared. Um, in the main algorithm, you also need three variables to uh, to catch all those uh, values that are returned by the function. So uh, the function returns three values in the main algorithm. You need three variables to catch those three things that are returned by the function. Okay. So just keep in mind that it does not have just to be one single value. Now, if we are talking about Python, there are actually built-in functions in Python. So what I would like you to do is to determine if each of these functions is void or value returning function and whether they need arguments or not. Okay. So we have the len function, we have the print function, run function, and the random function. You may try this on your Python console and for the last one to run this function first you need to import the random package for the other functions you do not need to import anything okay so there will be a pause on the video and I will return with the answer for this questions so the land function is a value returning function it needs an argument. The string is the argument. Print function is a void function. It needs an argument. The round function is a value returning function and it needs two arguments. First is the value that you would like to round. And then the second one is um, how many decimals you would like to keep after the dot. And finally, for this random random function, is a value returning function, but is it does not need any argument. So there will be two exercises for you to try. Okay. In the first exercise, you are given n sentences. The length of each sentence varies. For each sentence, show the frequency of each word in the sentence and then show the total frequency of all words that have appeared in the sentences that you have processed so far. Okay, And then keep repeating these two processes until you process all the N sentences. There will be a pause on the video to give you the time to think and really try to um, create the flowchart to show the algorithm to solve this um, exercise. And I will return after the pause on the video with the second exercise. In this exercise, similar to before, you are given N sentences. Except now, for each sentence, you must show each word's neighbors. Neighbor is defined as one word to the right. So, for example, um, in this sentence, if we are talking about the word as, then the neighbors of the word as is well and then the. Okay, so those are the neighbors. And then the frequency of the neighbors is um, um, the neighbors of the word as well with the frequency one, the with the frequency one as well okay once you have processed a sentence show the words and their neighbors that have appeared in the sentences that you have processed so far as well as the neighbors frequencies 
and then keep repeating these two processes until you process all those n sentences. Okay, so that's the end um, for the topic about functions. And um, I hope you get the idea that function is just a block of code. The block of code that we specify such that this block has a specific purpose, such that your main algorithm will look simpler and it will be easier for you to debug your algorithm, to find the errors, and to modify the algorithm. Okay, so that's all I would like to talk about um, function. Thank you and see you next time.